Uh, hi, I'm Scott Ruthven. I'm a painter. I live in Colorado and uh, heading out to do some plein air today. I thought I'd just make a quick video talking about plein air painting and its impact in, in my uh, life and maybe give some advice to new painters out there, people who are interested in plein air but don't really know where to start. So uh, plein air painting for me, uh, I guess I've always done it. I love being in the outdoors anyway and so it was a natural fit. But uh, plein air painting, really, uh, when I started out, just like anybody, I guess, uh, I wasn't sure how to mix colors, um, didn't know what materials to use, had a million questions, and I would try to paint in my studio and I would overanalyze everything. It was terrible. I would never <laughs> take me forever to do a painting. Um, and, uh, you know, I'd make, mix colors and just it would be a nightmare. I'd never get uh, a painting done. So when I started to plein air paint, uh, everything changed. It was amazing because um, you get outside and you have to, uh, you know, you're trying to capture a scene and the light's moving, so you have a limited amount of time. And so what that did for me was it made me get off the dime and uh, not worry about, um, see, I'll just stop here for a second. That's a good spot. Um, you know, it made me get off the dime and start just diving in and mixing colors and, and capturing the scene. And so my brain kind of switched from overanalyzing everything into um, more of a hurried, rushed mode, which can be bad too. But uh, the bottom line is it, it kept me from overanalyzing everything and made me dive right in. So I started make dis making decisions and, um, you know, it wasn't immediate, but over time, um, it's a good spot, over time, you start to develop that instinct, basically, because you're responding to um, the scene and everything that you're learning along the way starts to become part of your, well, painting DNA, I guess, and your visual memory. And uh, the intuition starts to take over. It makes you a faster painter, helps you make decisions. And, you know, a lot of times, even if you don't know what to do, responding in the moment, and using that intuition, you end up with a pretty good result. Um, <clears throat> and so for me, it really helped me get off the dime, start painting uh, quickly, and um, at a point where, uh, I, you know, I was making decisions intuitively. Now, I love plein air painting. I, I would say if there's any advice I could give to the new painter, it would be to get outside and paint um, on location from life. It is the single uh, largest factor in my personal growth. So uh, even if you don't like the outdoors as much as I do or enjoy hiking, you can go, um, I'm just gonna pan around here, you can see this view I'm at this morning, wow. Beautiful. Um, even if you're not one to hike and, and that, just get in your backyard and paint from life. It's amazing what that will do for your confidence and ability. All your paintings are going to turn out. Uh, mine sure don't. But um, what happens is you develop your own shorthand. And when you're under a time constraint because of, uh, of light changing, uh, you develop that shorthand. Uh, it's just a natural thing. It may take you, um, you know, months or years to do that. So don't get discouraged. Make sure you're enjoying your time outside. Uh, I love this because I can come and I'm spending a Saturday out here, uh, do a painting or two. And, uh, you know, I love it. I, I would do it either way. Maybe the paintings turn out, maybe they don't. Um, I'm going to go for some studies today that uh, could inform studio work later. But uh, the bottom line is plein air painting can make an enormous impact on your ability to paint. From color mixing to designing a scene, um, composition, drawing. Now drawing is probably one of the things in plein air that's going to suffer a bit. You're going to go more for uh, color notes and information and probably not spend as much time worrying about your drawing. Um, and the reason is you get bogged down in the drawing and uh, miss most of the scene. And you know, you're really here to capture information, uh, make a nice painting, but gather information really in, in the plein air setting. If you can do that in the limited time you have available, 
before the light uh, has a material change, um, then great, you know, take that work back into the studio. If it's something that requires more drawing, um, you know, then put the time in back at the studio to uh, uh, shore up the drawing on a larger studio piece. But you'll have all the color notes and the, the feel that um, it's really hard to, to make up from imagination. Some people can do that, I can't. But painting outside, uh, plein air, you know, you, you get to see how light really is affecting the landscape and how atmosphere is playing out, linear perspective, all of those elements, and you're having to make decisions fast. So uh, bar none, if there's one piece of advice for a new painter, it's get out and do some plein air painting. Thanks.